part, part D.2, run web applications in Tomcat. In this part, I like to show you two ways to deploy, then run Java web applications in Tomcat. Uh, I just used the example I gave you uh, in the zip file in person class that does zip file. The first one, number one, does zip file. Yeah. There is a Duke folder. It contains everything we need for that simple web application. Here, I want to show you two different ways. Yeah. So in Tomcat, yeah, still, yeah. We know, so this is the production version. There are two different ways we can do deployment. Okay. One way, code deployment. Deployment. Second way, hot deployment. All right, so I discussed, you know, these two ways. We know code way is better for production case. Yeah, hot deployment for convenience, right? Yeah, in the, at the old time, it is convenient for deployment. Yeah, deployment because people just want to get things fast. People don't want to shut down, restart, shut down, restart frequently. Okay, they just, you know, drop the new web applications into the, you know, running Tomcat, then see the result. But now we use IDE, so we do not copy web applications in the document root directory. We don't do that. We just do it in IDE. So then it looks like hot deployment is not that useful. All right, but I like to show you the concept. Yeah, I like to let you see the concept. Yeah, so I still bring up, uh, you know, this uh, special way. Yeah, but remember the last time in in class, I tried to show you the hot deployment, and it was not successful. Right. So remember, but last time, last time. Uh, it doesn't, it didn't work, but last time we used uh, Tomcat 10, right? Tomcat version 10. And this feature not working in Tomcat version 10. Yeah. But this time I show you, I use Tomcat version 8 Tomcat version 8 I test it yeah, working so I can show you yeah, yeah. all right so here you can see for different versions the behaviors could be different yeah could be different yeah sometimes if you want to see some special features you may need to go back to older versions. Yeah. All right. Uh, now uh, I can show you the deployment, the running case. All right. First, I show you code deployment. Second, hot deployment. Code deployment. Yeah. Copy first. Then run Tomcat. That's the code deployment, right? Hot deployment, that's run Tomcat first. Then copy web application. These two different ways. Yeah. All right.
All right, to show you, uh, let's do cold away first. All right, when I start, I need to bring up the command window. Yeah. Okay, then I need to get to the directory where we can run Tomcat commands. All right, so I see this space. Yeah. Then in my Windows Explorer, here the folder. Uh, all right, so here, all right, I use Tomcat 8.5 version, my older version. Yeah. All right, the Bing directory, it contains all the commands running Tomcat. All right. In order to get to this directory, I use a shortcut way, fast shortcut way. So when I in the right directory, I put my mouse cursor here and click once. Yeah. So you get this highlighted, so this kind of thing. Now I drag and drop this folder to my command window, enter. So now I'm in the right folder location. So I can type command dir to see, you know, all the possible files in this directory. All right. Then remember, uh, set environment, I copied that file. Set env, this here, set env.bat. I did that. I copied that. Yeah. Because I set the environment before, it looks like only I only need to set once. After that, I can run anywhere. Yeah. That's good. So that is convenient. Yeah. All right. So now I just uh, start Tomcat. All right. Before I start, uh, let us check our web application. So let us go to the web apps folder, document root directory. Where is Duke? The Duke is already here, right? So we copy the Duke. So remember the Duke in the zip file, you can get it easily. Yeah, let me see. Uh, right, in person class one, in person class one, the zip file, after you download it, unzip it, you see Duke folder and our tutorial folder. I talk about tutorial later in my next two videos i talk about that all right so here you just copy this duke folder into the this web app web apps folder in, inside tomcat installation directory right here okay so now let me start it in this window i type the command start up start up that's it you do not need to type wat yeah yeah it works all right so a new window opens up and in this new window i like you to point this duke look at this line duke here that means this web application is loaded into the server, into the server running environment. So ready to run it in a web browser. Here, I just bring up web browser. Uh, all right. So let me type localhost, right? Yeah, HTTP colon uh, local host yeah here the duke all right enter yeah now you see you see it it's running yeah so then we type you know a string submit so you see the response dynamic yeah so it can handle some users activities yeah a simple example so it works, yeah. All right, so that is the code deployment. 
Next, I want to show you hot deployment. All right. How do I show you hot deployment? Yeah, it's very simple. First, let me shut down Tomcat. Shut, shut down. Yeah, enter. Then, so that the running Tomcat running window disappears. Yeah. Then we go back to the web apps folder. This time, I delete it. Yep, delete that folder. It's gone. So now we don't have that web application. Yeah. Then we start Tomcat. Okay. Start, start up. Yeah. So I just use the arrow up, arrow down to find the older command. Yeah. It's faster. Yeah. Enter. Now we get it started. All right. Here you can see from the list, you cannot find you cannot find the Duke, right? Yeah, the Duke is not there. Yeah, we re remove it. Yeah, so it won't be loaded into the server environment. Now, let us make the copy. When Tomcat is running, we copy the web application Duke folder. Yeah. All right. So here, I just. Uh, get to this in-person class one, Duke, select it, copy, then go back to this one, yeah, this folder, paste, control V, yeah. All right, now let us go back to the Tomcat running window. Can you see here this, the last few lines, directory, Duke, can you see this, web apps slash backslash duke yeah finished you know load it that's the hot deployment so tomcat version y uh, version 8 still supports hot deployment so i show you that the last time when i used tomcat the newest version version 10 it didn't work i cannot show you this feature there must be some reason, good reason behind it. But here, I just want to introduce this concept to you. Yeah. Then we can run it. But here, I do not need to repeat that. You know, the same way you, you saw before. So I, I just stop here. Yeah. All right. So that.